Hey guys, so if y'all checked out my vlog from the other day, I did a little shopping. I was out and about trying to get some fall decor for my house and I just had to buy some random things that I had on a list and I just went browsing. So I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got. This is gonna be somewhat of a fall haul and somewhat of a random haul. Okay, you guys will have to excuse this mess behind me because I'm in my office and I've not organized it or cleaned it in a good while. So just excuse that. And anyway, let's get started. Okay, so the first stuff that I'm going to show y'all is everything that I got from Dollar Tree. All right, so I found this vase and these fall colored flowers. And um, this vase, I can't tell if it's really showing up in this light but it's kind of a glare, but it's kind of like a yellowish greenish color. I thought it was perfect for the fall. I have a vase on my table now that's just clear and it has more just spring looking flowers. So I found these that are like fall colors and I do have some placemats that are old. I've only used them like once or twice though, but they have leaves on them. So they're, you know, fall looking. And I thought that the colors in this would match. So I hope they do. I haven't even looked at those placemats in a while. The next thing that I got was a pack of socks. Just a three pack of socks. You know, I thought they were kind of cute. They're the low cut socks like I like to wear. And you know, you can't beat three pairs for a dollar. I really probably should have bought t two packs of these because all my socks are getting stretched out or have holes in them. But I figured I would try these first if they're comfortable, if they wear really good and I like them, I'll go back and get another pack. The next thing that I got is just some washi tape. And this is like in zebra print, it's black and white. And my planner is black. So I thought that that would match. And I tell you what, there's a horrible glare in here. But anyway, that's what that looks like. This next thing, very random. Uh, but this is a Betty Crocker basting brush. You know, I do not have one of these. And it may be weird, but I've never owned one of these. And I really need one, I always have. And so every time I'm in Dollar Tree, I look at these and I just walk by it and I don't get it. And I finally decided to pick it up because I really do need one. Also, they had a bunch of um, kitchen towels, just like hand towels for the kitchen with like fall decor. So I picked one up and this just has leaves and little acorns on it. So, you know, I thought that was pretty cute for a dollar. And I believe this is the last thing I got from Dollar Tree, but this is a pack of two baskets, just blue baskets. I really wanted red, but they didn't have this exact size in red. They had some bigger ones, they had smaller ones, and I really, I didn't know if I needed a bigger one or if I needed one of the smaller, skinnier ones, so I just ended up going with this size. I needed a couple of baskets to help organize under my bathroom cabinet. I just have a bunch of random bathroom stuff and overflow makeup and things like that, so I thought these would help me organize because I'm in an organizing kick. I've been wanting to organize everything in my house lately, so I'm trying to start off with a little bit at a time. Okay, the next place we stopped was at Walmart, and so this is going to be everything I got from Walmart. I really didn't get much at Walmart. First thing I got was two new pillows. <laughs> um, but if you've been checking out my Instagram and Twitter, I've been talking about how we need a new bedding. The bedding we've had on our bed, we've had for many, many, many moons and it was faded and thin and worn out and finally just started ripping so i put a bunch of pictures that i was trying to decide from um on instagram and twitter and i told everybody to like vote for what they thought was their favorite and um anyway i'll show y'all uh later on in this video which one we decided to go with um anyway we i needed two new pillows because we have four pillows and two of them are for like the pillow shams. And those two that we usually put the pillow shams on are very worn out and flattened and everything else. So I had got two new pillows and our bedding actually comes with two Euro shams. I never even knew what a Euro sham was. But anyway, our Walmart does not have Euro size pillows. So I'm gonna have to like go online and see if I can find the right size. I think it's like a 26 by 26 or something. So I've gotta find a Euro pillow and um, so I can, you know, take advantage of my Euro shams. But anyway, we had to get two new pillows from Walmart, and these were like the El Cheapo ones because we don't really sleep on these. These are just the El Cheapo pillows because we don't really sleep on these. They're just more for decor more than anything else. Okay, the next things that I got from Walmart, we had to get some light bulbs. That's a lot of fun, I know. And then I got four wax melts. And for those of y'all who've been following me for a while, know that I prefer Scentsy. Um, but I'm out of the Scentsy ones and they smell so good. They smell up your whole house. But there are a few that you can get at Walmart that will smell really, really strong. Uh, some of these, 
well, a couple of these I've never tried before, but they smell really, really strong in the package. So I'm hoping once they melt in my wax melt warmer, they'll be really, really strong. These are all like good fall scents. So the first one that I have is cinnamon and spice. And this one, oh, I love it, but you gotta be a cinnamon lover. It's, it's pretty strong cinnamon and sm spice smell, but it smells really good. The next one that I've got is the baked apple strudel. And it smells like apple pie in a sense, with maybe a little bit of hint of cinnamon too, but that smells really good. And then I've got the exotic amber woods, you know, since I'm amber and everything. And that just smells so good. I can't even explain what that smells like. It smells really, really good though. And then the last one is Crisp Fall Leaves. And these are all the Better Homes and Gardens brand. This brand actually smells better than some of the other brands they sell at Walmart. And this one smells exactly like leaves would smell if leaves could smell. Or if leaves had a smell. It smells so good. This, this one may be one of my favorites, so I'm hoping this one really smells at my house. But I got four packages of these, um, and I'm not gonna start um, using these until it gets a little bit cooler outside. Um, you know, I just wanted to go in and have everything because I wanna be ready to go when the first hint of the weather getting cooler and it really feeling like fall outside, I wanna have everything that I need. So, gotta load up on fall smells for the house, right? Oh, and I almost forgot about this. This is, I think, the last thing that I got at Walmart, and I was really, really excited about this. So, I love cookie jars, and I like to put a cookie jar out on my counter for, like, every season. I have a set of canisters on my counter. Um, it's, like, four canisters that came as a set, but I have used the biggest one as a cookie jar for a long time. I'm thinking of getting rid of my other smaller canisters because I don't really use them much anymore. And plus it'll make more counter space on my counter. So I'm thinking of just going with the one big canister and continue using that as a cookie jar. But it's more for like spring and summer. It's bright colors. It's got like flowers on it, I think. So um, I wanted one for the fall and then I also want one for just Christmas time. I, I've seen like the snowman and the Christmas tree cookie jars and Santa Claus. They're all, there's just so many cute ones. So I wanna get one for Christmas, but this one will be perfect for the fall. I can actually have this out all the rest of September, October, November. And usually they only get a few of these at Walmart. Then once they're gone, they don't get any more back in. So I figured I'd scoop this up while they had it and it was only $10. How cute is that? It's got a little leaf handle thing on top. I, I would open it, but um, it's taped around the top still. But it's just yellow leaves, green leaves, kind of brownish leaves, and it's like a beige background. And it's just really, really cute. So I'm thinking I'm gonna replace my one with the flowers on my counter with this one for the fall. It's just so cute. It'll go kind of, it'll kind of tie in with my leaves placemats that I'm gonna put on my table. So this is really, really, really cute. I can't wait to use this. I was really excited when I saw this. Oh, and they also had some owl ones that look real fallish. So if you're in, big into owls, which I love owls too, it was kind of a really hard decision to get this one of the owls. But they have owls that's so really cute also. Okay, the last place that I stopped was Bath and Body Works. And if, like again, if you saw my vlog, it was a struggle for me because I'm addicted to Bath and Body Works. And I could literally buy every candle in there if I had the money. Every candle smells so good. So I usually will grab like a bunch that I think smell good and then I'll try to narrow it down. I usually buy four candles at a time just so I have a good selection for a while. Um, but I was really limited. I had a budget in mind before I went out shopping this day and I didn't want to go over my budget. I'm trying to be financially mature. I made myself just get two candles. Plus, I figure once it gets closer to Christmas time and I actually start decorating for Christmas, I'm gonna wanna have more Christmas tree smells. I like the balsam fir Christmas tree smell in my house a lot. So, I just got a couple of fall scented candles and then I got a little candle holder that I couldn't resist. And I told everybody, you know, try to guess which ones I got. I wanted everybody to, you know, kind of make their predictions on which ones I decided to go with, but I'm gonna finally reveal the two that I picked. Okay, so the first one that I decided to go with is Sweater Weather. Yeah, this smells so amazing. <sighs> That's just, oh, it smells so good. I could just sit there and sniff it all day. It's just a great fall scent. I can't really explain what the smells are like in there, but I know what most people have smelled sweater weather. I'm one of the few people that never smelled it until yesterday. 
but this smells so good. So I'm really hoping this makes my whole house smell so delicious. And the other one I decided to go with is flannel. And let me tell you, it smells so good. This one to me is like a, just a good, clean, fresh scent. They, again, they titled these names perfectly because if flannel had a smell, this is what I really think it would smell like. It smells so good. Um, another um, one that I really wanted to get was, I think it was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I really wanted that one. The Pumpkin Cupcake, I think it was. That one smelled so good. Um, they also had Autumn, which smelled so good. I really wanted the Autumn one. Um, yeah, there were so many I want for the fall, but I really try to limit myself just to two. And this is the candle holder that I got. Perfect for the fall. It's got pumpkins and leaves and... Yeah, I can use this all the way until I decorate for Christmas. But this is what it looks like. Is that not so freaking cute? It's like pumpkin leaf, pumpkin leaf. It's so cute. I love it. These were $9.50. They had some that were like $10.50. They had some, I think, for even like $7.50. Um, they had a bunch to choose from. I was really kind of going back and forth between two or three different ones. But I love that. That is just so pretty to me. And something else I have for the fall, my mom made me a fall wreath to hang on my door. I'm big on wreaths. I like wreaths for every season. She made me one that I put up for the spring and the summer, and then I have like a red, white, and blue 4th of July one. Um, she made me a Christmas one, and so now I have a fall one. So let me go get it so I can show y'all what that looks like. Okay, so this is the fall wreath that she made me. Is, is it not so pretty? It's got the little bow right there and like your brownish color. And then there's a little brownish rhinestone in the middle of it. And it's just perfect fall colors. I think she does an outstanding job on wreaths. I wish that I could do them. I mean, I guess I've really never tried them. They might be pretty simple, but I'm just not good at stuff like this or creative or anything. Uh, but I just think this is so pretty. So shout out to my mom for making me this beautiful wreath. Okay, so that is everything that I got on my little shopping spree yesterday. Like I said, a lot of it was fall stuff and some of it was just random stuff. But I feel like I have a pretty good bit. I mean, I, I didn't really have hardly any fall stuff for my house um, just from past years. So I just try to get a little bit more every year. So now at least I have a little bit somewhat of a centerpiece for my table. I already had some fall placemats. I have something that I think I'm gonna put on my island already. And I just got the cookie jar and some fall wax melts and fall candles to smell at my house. And like I said, I did get some new bedding and I will show y'all that um, in a minute. Okay guys, so the comforter I told you, it finally came in. This is it, this is the one we decided to go with. And it, it was a really tough choice because I saw so many that I loved, but I, I wanted something with a little bit of color. Everything in our house is browns and earthy tones and I just decided to get something to kind of try to brighten our room up a little bit. So we have the um, big brown headboard and then the comforter is like a light, bright blue. It almost reminds me of like a sky blue and I don't know how good that shows up on camera. And then it has like a textured feel. I love comforters with like texture to it. And then around the bottom um, of the front edge and the sides, it's just striped, like off white and brown stripes. And then it came with these two blue pillow shams and then all three of those um, decorative pillows. It also came with Euro shams and I didn't even know what a Euro pillow was but it's a 26 by 26 and I uh, cannot find that size pillow anywhere so I'm probably gonna have to order them offline and yeah then I'll be able to use my brown pillow shams and I think the way the picture looks is they have their stuffed in behind this pillow so it'll just add a little bit more pillow to the bed and I love a lot of pillows on my bed but I think this was a great choice this was one of the few that I um, found right away and fell in love with but I had a tough choice between this one and a couple other ones but my husband ended up saying he really liked this one so I do too so I just wanted to show you guys that but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And tell me some of the things that y'all are going to be buying for the fall for your house. And 
uh, what you already have to decorate. And if y'all would like to see kind of a walkthrough of my house once I get all the fall decorations put up, let me know in the comments down below. I will be glad to do that. I kind of wanted to do that anyway, just to get everything decorated for the fall and then just show y'all um, just kind of a walkthrough of my house on what I did. I, like I said, I don't have like a ton that I'm putting up, but I just like a little bit of touch of fall here and there in my house. I don't go quite as crazy as I do with Christmas decorations. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will just see you guys in the next one. Bye!